So guys, um, back for part two here. I was able to get the resistor working and monitoring the system. So how I did this was basically the way that this is wired is since the um, end of line resistor would usually just go on the terminals if it was an end of line device, which is basically what this is acting as. Um, the wires go through the board basically directly to the two terminals. So the negative leg right here is switched between here and then the positive just goes straight to here so since number four which is what the negative goes to was not shorted i mean was not stripped out um i was able to put it in there and then have a wire run around to the positive which is the exact same thing that this would have been doing if the terminal wasn't stripped out because like i said it just goes straight from here to here so that's how it monitors it and so I'm glad I got that working with no problems. But I'm still not sure what's wrong with this, which is the um, second message, which is all clear. So guys, I figured out why my uh, all clear message wasn't working. It's because terminal number four only outputs um, the 24 volts when the system is activated, like via the NAC input. On my other panel, it didn't do that, so that's weird. Um, but number 10 always has 24 volts, so if I short 10 and 7. So I guess I'm just going to have to switch those terminals around. This will go back into trouble in a second. But basically, that's it. So the panel is back up and running just as it should be. So all clear message works. Uh, monitoring works properly. And hopefully this amp is a lot better. The only thing I need to get is a new um, uh, tone sh tone sheet because my other one had some things crossed off because the panel didn't have the uh, tones in it because it was so old and it was all um, messed up but that's going to be it for this video guys thanks for watching and you'll be seeing this panel very shortly in the new system test thanks for watching peace out